Welcome back to Micro Maintenance and the home of wing nuts. This is season two, episode two. And if you like trig, pilot aware and flex wings, then this is the episode for you. In this episode, we are looking at a quick GTR and wow, what a stunning aircraft. Great color scheme, great decals on there as well, really sort of stands out from the crowd. And it was nice that Tim decided to use us to fit his trig system and a pallet aware Rosetta. Now it's no secret that here at Micro Maintenance we are big fans of the Trig avionics systems. We think they are fantastic and we've struggled to find anything that can compare um, not only on price but also on functionality. They are a fantastic product. On this particular aircraft we fitted the Class 2 transponder, the TT21. We also fitted the TN72 GPS positioning system and we used the TA50 internal bug to provide a GPS system for the ADS-B out. We also fitted a pilot aware system, which included the internal antenna kit. And we tend to use these in a flex wing situation because we can really make it a nice compact install. When you're fitting anything like this to flex wings, it's very important that you get the positioning of the products right. It's very easy to think that something will fit there and then you'll put the seat pan in or something like that or you'll drop the pile on and you find that it's fouled. So it's very important that you get the positioning of all of the products correctly. It's also important that you get the cabling uh, right, run correctly and that you're not sending down audio leads uh, running along power sources which may cause any interference. So it's quite a complex uh, cable running, um, trying to fit it with the existing cables that are in there, the existing wiring loom. But myself and Alan quick made short work of it and we got this system fitted within the day, which was absolutely fantastic. Anyway, we hope you enjoy this video. We'll see you on the other side. Want to see what we're hoping to install, gents? Say what? What is it we're hoping to install? So we are currently fitting <coughs> a electric conspicuously bundle um, to this aircraft. So we are fitting the fantastic Trig uh, transponder, which is a small head unit. So we're going to look at placing this one here. <coughs> We're going to move the avionics aft so that we're not cluttering up um, the cockpit uh, area. <clears throat> it means we're able to put all the noisy uh, cables to one side so you don't get any radio interference. Uh, we're also going to fit this with the GPS, Trig GPS source, the TN72, and their GPS bug, the TA50. It's just a fantastic kit. We're also popping in a pilot aware system in this as well. So yeah, be seen, be seen, be seen. Whilst we were fitting this system, Ben took the opportunity to have a quick chat with Tim. So Rob, we've got Tim who's come to visit today with this absolutely beautiful green quick that you'll see a lot more of later. But he's coming in for some upgrades to his avionics with Trig. Why'd you go for Trig, Tim? Uh, because it was it's a compact system. Uh, it's, it fits well in the dashboard. It's easy to use. So I've heard, I'm about to find out. But compared to the other ones I've looked at, um, it's easy to use um, and I can use it with my gloves on because I'm flying a flex so that's, that's the reasoning behind it. Have you been nicking tools again Mark? No. No? Re recovering I think is the word you're looking for. What colour tape was it on the mallet? Yellow. Yellow? Uh, it put yellow on, on top of red. Oh. And whose is the red tape? They're mine, Ben. Oh. Oh, okay.
catching you stressing out about OCD things don't I? <laughs> every time. <laughs> Genuinely bothers me. I mean, to be fair though, like it's one of those things, isn't it? Where it's like something that's two degrees off. You know. It's that would genuinely keep me awake. <laughs> For those at home that can't see, tiny variants, mm -hmm. just there, uh, not good, not good. That's, I'm sorry mate, you're gonna have a new dash moment. <laughs> Are we installing at this moment in time, sir? Um, placement. So the issue you got is that these can be quite tall, and when you put the seat pan in, there's a recess that comes down here. So if you move stuff too far down here, you don't realise your seat doesn't go in until you've put it in. <laughs> um, so, like I say, getting placement rise. If we put them on the keel, you've got to be mindful of the uh, of the main pylon coming down. So yeah, placement is quite important. How's it all progressing, mate? Yeah, doing all right. Just running in cables, making sure everything's going to reach where we want it to reach. And then, once we're happy, we can start making some permanent fixes. Well, for our viewers that might be doing this at home, do you route weather wise going to go before this? Yeah, so placement is massive and it's very easy to find the perfect place but not be able to run the cables and certainly where you're running the cables. So, on something like a, uh, a machine with a number of electronic systems that might be kicking out RF, you want to uh, try to avoid adding to the problem. So, yeah, it's always it's best to run the cables because before you start fixing stuff down, so get your placements right and then slowly work them. And so we can tap into the radio fuse. But I can't read what rating that is. It is a 5 amp. So we can tap into that. Do I connect everything up? Because I've got to put this in for the pilot aware. Yeah. Do I run the power off that as well? So that the radio, transponder and pilot aware are on the same fuse? Or do I put the transponder on the radio and connect the pilot aware up to the orgs so I'm splitting fuses? That's what I would do. Yeah, that's, that's kind of was my initial thought. And then we separate. What is it you're up to, mate? I'm uh, making a template for uh, this um, transponder aerial and I'm making a paper template to start with just to make sure that we can get this ground plane in position. So, uh, and then if it does, then we'll make a, a proper metal one. I'm uh, <coughs> forming this uh, ground plane to suit the bottom of the flex wing cockpit, mm -hmm. uh, which is always a, a difficult one, but uh, we always get there. I've got to get another, about another five mil on it, but only at one end, which uh, just adds to the fun. Where are we at now, buddy? We are very, very close to being done. So we've wired in the pilot aware. We've wired and the external aerials, they've gone in. GPS bugs, they've gone in. Transponders all powered up. Um, what we're doing now is just making up the loom to connect the trig GPS power uh, source to the transponder to give ADSB out. And that was episode two of season two. We hope you enjoyed it. 
Episode one just went absolutely nuts and we just want to say thank you very much for watching all of our Wing Nuts channels and programs and specials. We are hoping to do more specials in the future and hopefully there'll be something that you like out there. Until then, until next episode, don't forget to click that subscribe button. If you want to receive more information about micro maintenance, the home of Wing Nuts, don't forget to click the notifications. But until next week, guys, see you soon.